I'm Jamie. And I'm Cindy. Together, we're, we're the Diddy Buddies. Buddies. <laughs> we think the Saginaki is called. Come along with us. What we finally settled on doing today is um, following some TripAdvisor suggestions for things to do in Tarpon Springs. This one is number... Number eight. It's the, <laughs> Saf the 1883 Safford House Museum. And we're here on a Saturday afternoon and mm -hmm. it's closed. Yes. They're only open from Wednesday through Friday. It's only $5 to go in, yeah. but for people who are still working, makes it a challenge. It says it's a fine example of the late 19th century Florida vernacular architecture. So I guess we'll let you see it, although it. you can't see inside <laughs> because it's closed. Yes. <laughs> And it is on the uh, National Historic Registry. I love the uh, gate fence. Note, we did know that this was closed before we came here, but um, we wanted to follow TripAdvisor's advice. I was just telling Jamie, I think the little ticket house beside the house seems more interesting than the house, but t they do tours, which is kind of disappointing that they aren't open on the weekends because... We can't go. We can't go. It's a reasonable price, so it's really made for, I guess, people that are retired. According to TripAdvisor, number five thing to do in Tarpon Springs is come to the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral. Vietnam War Memorial on the other okay. side and World War II and the Korean War. Cool. It's interesting, isn't it? Maybe... Yeah, so this must be people from Tarpon Springs. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Of Bari, Italy. Wow. combines elements of Byzantine architecture with modern styling. It opened in 1943 in the middle of World War II. Services are held in both Greek and English. There are almost 1,000 families on the membership rolls of the St. Nicholas Cathedral. The prosperity of the sponge industry during World War II made it possible for the congregation to raise the money to construct the cathedral on the land where their original church opened in 1907. The white marble was quarried at Mount Penteli near Athens and was a gift from the Greek government. Two feasts of special import celebrated by the Greek Orthodox faith are Easter and Epiphany. The Feast of the Epiphany in January is celebrated in Tarpon Springs by a world famous ceremony. It includes a long service, a one block walk to the cathedral to the nearby Spring Bayou, the release of a white dove from a young girl in the church choir, and the young men of the congregation diving into the bayou for a weighted wooden cross that had been blessed by the archbishop. The lucky young man who retrieves the cross has a special blessing from the archbishop. 
We're standing on the steps of St. Nicholas sure. Cathedral. Um, we took a chance, opened the door, went inside, and were richly rewarded by doing so. It is gorgeous. Ornate with murals, uh, stained glass. <laughs> just beautiful inside so if you decide to come it's on TripAdvisor? Yeah the TripAdvisor number, number five, five to do and I'm going to agree it's worth coming here. Yeah it's definitely beautiful. worth the stop and just walk through be respectful. Um, We're going to try the replay museum here in Turpin Springs on the main drag. Number four of the things to do from TripAdvisor in Turpin Springs. Uh huh. Do and that's required inside. And a pinball museum. I said she probably found Galaga or something. <laughs> the arcade was on the trip advisor but it should be number one it was pretty high on the list yeah. I think sponge docks are probably number oh, one no. <laughs> I enjoyed that a great deal and the thing is they let you come in and out which I think is great yeah TripAdvisor's suggestion of a brewery, unrefined, there are actually several, and we thought we were going to another one, but couldn't find it. Okay, well that's interesting because TripAdvisor has this same address for two different breweries. So I can tell you that as of September 18th, 2021, it's unrefined brewing, not whatever the other name was. It's a house. Interesting. Cornholio. Hello. Hi. Hello, welcome. We're Cute. We got things like Saint Somewhere and stuff. So. Right. Yeah, we, we bought it from Saint Somewhere, guys. Yeah. No. Aha, uh -huh, there's the explanation. Something other thing. So this was saying somewhere, we bought it from them in February of 2019, so we've, oh. you know, over two years ago. So. But with COVID. Yeah, last, you know, so 2020. Advisor hasn't changed. Yeah, 2020 didn't feel like a real year. Yeah, last year doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing trip advisor review. 
I'm, 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 you know, I'm not in here, so. I was going to open his. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> it's not going to bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing stops me. <laughs> So I got you need a glass or anything, or is it no, All right. Cindy got the Chasing Dragons, the Smorios, the Fushi something, just for the name, just because I like the name, the Fushi. And what was so, that? What was right. that? Yeah. This is the bourbon one. Oh, that's the one he recommended. Um, number six dance? Number six yep. dance. I just like the name of that Did one, too. Did you just call me Casey? No. Probably. No, no you no. didn't. Okay. Right. You didn't. <laughs> We'll try so the, one sour. So the, 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 the scraping bottom, uh, it's, I mean, if you like key lime, you'll like it. it. But the key lime kind of, that, that's a little, it's a little punchy. All right. I like key lime. Okay. I like spicy. I like tart. Ah! Sorry. I'm sorry. You had to get a picture of the mermaids, but, you know, you know me and mermaid. Hey, they got video games here, too. I love that. Yeah, all games are free. Oh, cool. Oh. Shoot, we could have saved ourselves $14. So this is a bonus. Free does not need quarters. And that makes me very happy. He calls this their basically home brew. Bumped up a notch. So everything they have on tap is actually theirs, brewed here. Darts, the free games. Mm. Cute. list of things to do from TripAdvisor in Tarpon Springs are the sponge docks and we definitely agree but this video is not going to be about that because we've done this has its own separate video so go watch that one <laughs> Oops. pay for the sponges oh just pay for the sponges don't try to do it yourself don't it's do not it. worth it don't Sort of all along the road are these kiosks about getting out on the water. If you want to go do a boat tour, which I highly recommend, you just walk down the street and pick one from the kiosks. It's not Cindy's flaming cheese. Here we go. Opa! <laughs> We like the oh, there, there, there. Sorry. Oh, we like the Saginaw. Thank you. Thank you. This time we ate at Mama's. Our last Tarpon Springs video has us eating at Hella's and doing the most disgusting shot I've ever done, eat an eco. So for those of you doubters, there is a shot I don't like. Tarpon Springs Aquarium. We came at 5.30, it closed at 5. We knew that coming in. We also knew coming in that we were gonna believe the reviews because the most recent reviews have been people saying. It was very small. Yeah, it cost $20 to get in mm -hmm. and they said basically it is a reptile exhibit and that the when they were here the tanks were so dirty that you couldn't even see the things swimming in the tanks yeah. so we decided in this case we were going to believe it and besides which we're trying to kind of experience tarpon springs on the cheap today and yeah you've just seen us walk the entire length of the oh, entire aquarium yeah. so didn't really feel like it was worth our time and money be the entirety of it. Here, I'll show you. That's it. it. Seems to be the entirety of the whole aquarium. Yeah, it um, just doesn't seem like much. I appreciate that it's in the shade. It is family owned. So it used to be right on the sponge docks. At, they have moved it so that it's not even on the water anymore. It just doesn't seem like it's worth the $20. I mean, this tent. This is the entirety of the 
thing. So <laughs> the garden is a thing in the middle of the parking lot. Come on out to the Harpen Springs Aquarium. Don't have high expectations. Yeah, so. and I would say that maybe in this instance, don't believe TripAdvisor. We just got back from an hour and a half drive, two hour drive. About two hour drive. Yeah. We followed some advice from TripAdvisor and decided to do some of the things that they suggested. As you have now seen, some of them are a hit, some of them are not. Uh, so, you know, we're doing you a favor by going out and exploring <laughs> so you have more of an idea than reading something online. Right. Uh, it was a fairly inexpensive day. We spent a fair amount of money eating, but mm -hmm. that's really why we decided to go to Tarpon Springs yeah, in the first really place. <laughs> this is our second trip to Tarpon Springs. For a perfect day in Tarpon Springs, what, do you, what would you say if you were going to do a perfect day in Tarpon Springs? Start. If you're going your first day, you have to go to the Sponge Dogs. Which is the number one thing to do. Right. You have to see the Spongerama. You have to probably get on a boat uh, those are, and eat Greek food. Yes. I, those are mm -hmm. the, your first time ever in Tarpon Springs. That's what you have mm -hmm. to do. But this wasn't our first time right. ever, so it was cool to see some things uh -huh. that other people thought this is worth seeing while you're there. And what was your favorite thing we did today? Um, definitely. Always, I always enjoy the sponge docks, and on the first trip I, of course, enjoyed the boat trip. I really enjoyed getting into the downtown area last time, and this time the arcade was open, the replay arcade was open, whereas last time it wasn't because we were More in the height of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh. I really enjoyed that, and they have like this thing called a date night, which is if you live in the area and you want a different place to go to for like a date night, what a great idea. Yeah, two yeah. people for $22 uh -huh. for a three hour window on and Friday and Saturday nights. And it's unlimited nights. gameplay. But I also enjoyed the, the brewery that we went to. Unrefined Brewery, <laughs> which took the place of this Saint Somewhere Brewery. Um, and if you don't quite have the money to do both of them, they have free video games there. Um, Go there. I, we, I recommend and, going. Yeah. Hopefully our normal rating system doesn't apply, I guess, yeah. so maybe we just won't talk about it. Uh -huh. Although it has really the worthiness. We always think going to Tarpon Springs for a day or a half day is worth it. I, I certainly think it's worth mm -hmm. going to Tarpon Springs, and I guess the takeaway is don't always believe TripAdvisor. Believe us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next like time. Like and subscribe, please. And don't forget, get off the couch and go do something. Get up, get out, get going before, before it's, it's too late. late. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs>